I know you had mentioned that it led to you missing a basketball game when this happened. Were you or are you able to play basketball again? Yes, totally. At first, the expectation was that it was going to take 50% longer. It's supposed to be like three months longer. And the transition into playing sports again was supposed to take a lot longer too. Thanks to physical therapy, doing things that helped build muscle primarily in my foot. I think part of the benefit is having experience with being active and being engaged in physical activity prior to my injury because it was easy then for me to go through physical therapy and get back to like walking on my foot again. After getting my cast off, I remember shooting baskets, not jumping and stuff, but eventually, yeah, about a year after the injury itself, I was back to playing basketball almost fully. I I don't know if that was like a good thing or a bad thing. It was more so like, I'd like to do this and I'm going to do this. So I tried it and it ended up being okay. The only difference physically was jumping and my confidence in the amount of weight that I could sustain after my injury and going back into physical activity. I remember it was about a half a year or so until I was comfortable doing all the physical activities I was engaged in. For that half year-ish, I was really afraid to take full jumps or strides and, and leaps and stuff on my foot. For basketball, yes, I was able to get back into it. It was a slow transition because of the fear of injuring myself again. Why did you like playing basketball or why do you like playing basketball? Mm. I liked playing basketball because it gave me a no choice commitment to a purpose. When you're going through school, there's all of these different things that you're doing in your day-to-day activities that almost becomes a blur from whatever 8 a.m. till whenever the bell rings. And after that, I found if I wasn't filling that time with something meaningful or purposeful, I'd get bored. And so joining a basketball team or playing sports is a commitment that isn't based off of a grade. Everything I did in basketball or in certain sports was, in a sense, decided by me. I had like breakfast and shower before school. I had my family go to school. It's like a blur of classes. And then there's a section after school and it's my choice of how I want to fill that. And what gave me the most fulfillment was choosing to fill it with another family or camaraderie based extracurricular activity. Do you find that with activities you do now? My activities I do now, I still skateboard. I play basketball when I can, but I don't know. I mean, I get the same thing out of what I'm pursuing totally out of studying design, out of being in a creative field, because it's almost like I'm working with a team in everything that I'm doing. In a creative field, there's thousands of different jobs or positions that come together to orchestrate a final product, whatever it is from start to finish. Delegating my tasks to other people or trusting other people to do certain things, it's very similar to being on a basketball court and trusting my teammates to perform the same way that I would be, or to put in the same effort that I would be to perform. So totally, I get the same camaraderie feeling and team feeling from it. 